All right, the next mission is going to be Howling Bell. We're going to go talk to Drill Sergeant Volkov here. I like this. It's fun to build. All right, Howling Bell has another unique mechanic, and that is you can build your units all individually, just like a mole. Uh, of course, with moles, you can build them outside your territory. In Howling Bell, you can only build them inside your territory. Um, but uh, but you can you get to build them individually rather than from warrens. Um, so, uh, um, there's also a new unit here. Uh, you, you haven't actually been able, gotten a chance to use uh, falcons or wolves yet. Um, so these are two new units. Um, we're going to start just by building... Uh, a, a few lizards here, just in case an early attack comes in. Um, now you'll notice that the heroic is to starve the enemy without destroying a farm. Um, the trick to doing that is trying to destroy their warrens um, uh, in order to prevent large attacks from coming in. Um, and it's not easy. Um, uh, the wolf will really, really help um, with this. But there is a major challenge with the wolf in that the wolf will cause your units to, uh, or will cause your pigs to farm twice as fast as well, which means that your farms will run out faster. Um, this is, of course, not a good thing um, uh, for trying to basically out econ your opponent when you only have a single piece. There are not any available expansions um, on the map, so. Uh, you are going to have to single base this, um, and uh, um, we're going to get some falcons here in case more moles come in. Um, and uh, the skunks are going to be really good because there's going to be lots and lots and lots of uh, um, squirrels. But uh, the uh, the the real trick to getting the um, to getting the the heroic is going to be falcons, falcons, falcons. As many falcons as you can get. Um, and probably one wolf in order to uh, to essentially double the fire rate of those falcons and also double their speed. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and get a wolf here in a second, um, but uh, um, I have to be really careful to not let him uh, buff my farms. I only want him to buff units. Um, so uh, let's let's stick him. Stick them up here for now. Um, and we'll just have to protect that while that builds. It takes 40 seconds, just like the wolf does. Uh, I don't like that turret right there. I am going to try and kill it, although it's probably not a big deal uh, for it to be there. It's just I'm worried about units maybe occasionally straying into to the line of fire in that region. Now, this has been surprisingly quiet, uh, maybe because he spent his food on... Uh, um, moles rather than squirrels. Uh, or, uh, yeah, it looks like he invested in slightly more expensive units here. Um, now hopefully my units will heal up before the next wave comes in. Um, I'm going to pull him back. The best thing you could possibly have happen is uh, for... Uh, we, you want your squirrels... You want his squirrels to be... Um, ooh, and he's leaving a whole bunch of warrens exposed for me. So that is huge because... Uh, um, I don't have to destroy farms, but I can destroy his worms, and that's a, that's really good for, uh... No, don't kill farms. Don't kill farms. Make sure we don't kill farms. You can see when, uh, when you've got a wolf, things get a little silly, especially wolves and lizards in combination with one. It's a lot of fun. Uh, so if I use my right trigger, the wolf will uh, buff the units closest to wherever you rally him. So I can have the wolf next to my base here, but since I right triggered my uh, army to this position, he'll focus on those guys. Uh, I realized I was talking and not playing, and uh, I need to build a significantly bigger force here. Um, gotta watch out for this water attack, and I'm very, very concerned about accidentally killing a farm. So, stay back, guys. That's some, so, I'm saving that one farm so that uh, 
when uh, when everything else farms out, I'll build that last farm, and then that'll give me five minutes to um, uh, to try and win, basically. All right, let's use these falcons to come over here. It's not actually a terrible thing if uh, um, uh, if the enemy destroys a farm or two right here at the end. I might even invite him to do it. Let's do it. Um, so that I can uh, have that extra... Not only do I... I can get five minutes on the, the rear farm, and then when that one runs out, I can rebuild this one, um, which will give me a little bit more time. Might even have him invite him to try and take out that... That guy back there. Uh oh, that's trouble though. Okay, now my my Christmas in bad shape, so I gotta be real careful. Okay, I he's lost all but his. He's got one. Uh, he's got one farmer remaining near the front of his base. Just gotta make sure we don't just accidentally destroy that one. But then once uh, once that one has farmed out, and it should be farmed out pretty soon, um, we won't have to be quite so careful. It should be nice. In fact, I've got so much food here, I'm going to get a second wolf, which will allow me to buff additional um, units. Not quite paying attention and uh, let my army run out. Need to make sure since they aren't since I don't have warrants, uh, you do have to be careful that when you start to run when your army starts to run out, you have to make sure you rebuild and more like in a traditional RTS. All right, we're almost there, I think, guys. I'm surprised because given that the, the incoming waves are smaller and smaller and smaller, uh, suggests to me that, uh, that the end is nigh. Alright. Of course, I don't have any food left, so if I do lose too much of my army, I will be in deep trouble. Uh, so, really, I just need to sit here and... It looks like all of his remaining warrens... Remember, we took out these warrens over here. So it looks like all his remaining warrens are on that side of the river. And uh, he's having a hard time crossing, given my wolf-buffed force. And what I'm doing right here uh, is I'm pulling... I'm, I'm letting him attack, and then you, you... That skunk gas, once the skunk gas gets out... It lingers for a while, so I pull my units back to, in order to force the enemy to run through that stunt cast. Um, uh, and with two wolves on the battlefield, I'm, I am unstoppable. Because right that's that's basically doubling the size of this mobile army um, in terms of their fire rate. Almost there. We'll be almost done here. Last little bit remaining. I don't think he has any. He has none left there. I think he's got a third base. Uh, yeah, but he doesn't. He's, there's no way he has much in the way of. Uh, yeah, so I think that'll be it. He's going to be starving here in just moments. Um, All right, another uh, brief amount of time, and we will start. And you're going to sit here with me while we wait. <laughs> uh, so, what you guys do today? Yeah, really super nice weather, right? Have you played any awesome games lately? Oh, we got 10 seconds. You can see the upper right-hand corner. Boom! He's starved out. 